Dilution plating is a method of precisely decreasing the number of microbes in a solution so that each cluster of one or a few microbes will form a separate, distinct colony on an appropriate medium. The method involves serially diluting a sample in an appropriate buffer. Once the sample is diluted, portions of the desired dilutions are then applied to the surface of plates of an appropriate medium and allowed to grow. This video demonstrates the manipulations involved in the dilution plate technique. Before beginning a dilution plating experiment, it is often useful to label all plates and tubes that are going to be used in the experiment. Normally you will label them with the dilution that they represent. For example, 10 to the minus 1, 10 to the minus 2, 10 to the minus 3. In the experiment demonstrated here, a sample of hamburger was pureed with 180 mL of dilutant. Each student was given a 1 mL portion of this in the red cap tube. Here the student is adding 9 mL of dilutant to the hamburger puree. It is also appropriate, and in, case, in most cases this is what is done, to add sample to dilutant. But in this case, the opposite was most convenient. The movie now demonstrates the method for serially diluting a sample. To do the dilution, a P1000 micropipette is used to measure out a 1 mL portion, which is then transferred to a 9 mL dilution blank. Any instrument that can correctly measure out 1 mL would be appropriate to use in this example. In our case, we just happen to have P1000 micropipettes. After each transfer, the receiving tube is mixed thoroughly to completely distribute the sample. The process of transfer and mixing is repeated until all desired dilutions are made. In this portion of the video, the student demonstrator was infused with a large dose of caffeine so that he moved quite a bit faster. In reality, we sped up the technique so that you could see it, but also so it doesn't take too much time. Once all dilutions are complete, portions of target samples are dispensed onto appropriate media. The dilutions actually used for plating are dependent upon the estimated population of microbes, and knowing how much to dilute a sample is a matter of experience. Volumes of 100 to 500 microliters are normally put on a plate, with 100 microliters being the most common volume. Once volumes are distributed to plates, they must be spread across the auger surface. This is conveniently done with a glass rod. The glass rod is sterilized by passing it through a flame. It is then dipped in ethanol and flamed again to complete the sterilization process. After sterilization, the glass rod is allowed to cool a full 20 or 30 seconds before being used. Insufficient cooling may result in the destruction of microbes during the spreading process and inaccurate results. If the rod needs to be sterilized in between plates, only dipping in ethanol and then passing through the flame is necessary. It is not necessary to repeat the initial flaming of the glass rod without ethanol.
After spreading, the plates are allowed to soak up any excess liquid, inverted, and then incubated under appropriate conditions. Pictured here are typical results of a dilution plating. By counting the number of colonies and determining the total dilution of a sample spread on a plate, it is possible to determine the colony forming units in the original sample.